Hello, this is the first uh, video in a series where we're gonna build a game framework in C++ using win 2 API. I'd like to start out by pointing out the differences between a game library, a game framework, and a game engine. So a library is basically a set of functions. Uh, basically, you can think of library is as a toolkit. Um, there are a bunch of tools that you can use in your program, um, and uh, it doesn't impose any architectural kind of choices on you. So uh, a good example of a library is a math library where it uh, just provides you with uh, data structures and uh, it provides you with uh, different functions um, and that's it. It's just a separate unit of functionality. Um, now a framework uh, is different because it uh, does impose some program design. Uh, as a user of framework, uh, you're provided with um, some sort of uh, tools um, and uh, functionality to uh, um, will implement the logic of your application, but um, the core kind of design of the of your program is defined by the framework and that's what we're gonna build we're gonna build a game framework and the control of the game the main game loop uh, is controlled by the framework um and the third one is game engine well it's just a program that we use to build a game. But at the end of the day, uh, those three words are used in interchangeably. Uh, but we're building a game framework, which means that we are gonna define how the game is gonna be run. And we are gonna provide the user with well ways to actually implement the game logic. Okay, the next thing is why use Win32 API? For stuff, Win32 API is a, it, it's an API, it's an interface uh, between your program and the operating system. We're not gonna use any libraries. Uh, we are just gonna use Win32 API that comes with Windows, so, um, we're gonna be using the API to uh, call operating system functions uh, to create a window to render uh, to the screen uh, and stuff like that. And lastly, our framework is gonna provide a main game loop. It's gonna provide a window abstraction uh, for the user. Uh, it's gonna provide a renderer class for 2D, for simple 2D graphics. And then lastly, it's gonna provide functionality to handle user input. We're gonna work in Visual Studio. Um, if uh, you're having any uh, problems with setting up a C++ Visual Studio project uh, to work with Win32 API, I've made a video on, well, how to set it up. Uh, it's pretty simple, so um, check it out if you don't know how to do that. And uh, with that, let's start implementing.